Good evening. My name is Mark Laffler. I am the priest, the rector at St. Edward's Episcopal Church. And tonight we're going to pray the prayers of Compline. I invite you to join with me. The prayers are found on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. And we will, I'll give you a moment to, to find that page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. I invite you to join me uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Uh, right here on this feed, uh, St. Edward's Episcopal Church, our Palm Sunday service, which was will be uploaded at 10 o'clock. And hope that you'll be able to join us for that. Let us begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us say together Psalm 134 found on page 131 in the Book of Common Prayer. Behold, now bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you are in the midst of us and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye, Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are weary by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We give you thanks, O God, for revealing your Son, Jesus Christ, to us by the light of his resurrection. Grant that as we sing your glory at the close of this day, our joy may abound in the morning as we celebrate the Paschal Mystery through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. and Give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick. Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. I invite you to offer your own prayers and petitions and thanksgivings at this time. Please make a comment so that others may join in your prayer request or share in your thanksgiving. Let us pray. Thank you. 
Heavenly Father, we especially pray for Tish tonight, Father John Kelly's wife, our friend from the villages. Lord, we pray as she is in ICU with the coronavirus, Lord. Father, we pray for healing on her body. Strengthen her lungs, Lord God. We pray that you'll restore her to health. Comfort Father John at this time. And Lord, I pray for your mercy and grace to be upon them by the power of your Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord. Father, we pray for the nurses and doctors that are working unbelievable amounts of shifts at this time. Lord, especially in the hard-hit places with this virus in New York City and many other places, especially in Italy and Spain as well, Lord. Father, we pray that you strengthen them. Give them your skills. Give them your patience. Lord, give them your strength so that they may comfort and bring healing to those in need. We thank you, Father, for your great grace, even in the midst of this difficult, difficult time. Thank you, Lord, for you are a good God. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Stay strong, and may God bless you on this evening. In the eternal and precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen.